Hello all and welcome to the Mug Life DIY. I am Julia and I am so excited that you decided to stop by my channel. So I've got another three fall DIYs for you and I'm going for more of a black with some neutral tones in them and I am just still totally obsessed with the blush pink. So I am adding some of those colors to my fall decor this year. Now I picked up this gather sign from the Dollar Tree in the fall section and I'm just going to pop off the back. It did come off pretty easily, but I was also quite gentle with it. I wasn't tugging too hard. So I would just recommend going slower than you think. And I love, love, love. This is the same scrapbook paper that I bought earlier this year that I've actually used uh, several times and it's from Michaels and I kind of picked this one. It has kind of a wooden slat shiplap look, but it's very creamy and it has those lighter colors in them. And I just really thought this would bode well to the theme that I want to do this year for fall. So I am just going to cut down the size that I need and then I'm going to Mod Podge it to the very back of the little framed picture. And you're also gonna see what I do best, which is a total floopah bumble, oh my goodness. Like, I didn't even realize how fast it came out, but I was just like, oh well, just keep crafting what I do best. So I kind of just spread the Mod Podge around and then just emptied some back into my bottle. I don't know what I was thinking. I was like, yeah, this is totally a great idea. And you know, it's just, it's just how I go. I am the messiest crafter and I just craft and I have fun. So, you know, you don't have to have a perfect space if that's not your thing, but if you are a perfectly neat and organized crafter, I, I don't even, I, I need some tips y'all. So that's just, <laughs> that's not me. So I just even it out on the backing and I let that fully dry. And I definitely, definitely was bothered. Now, this piece from the Dollar Tree is quite like, it just looked unfinished. So I didn't really want to do a lot to the piece. I just wanted to finish it off and just have it a higher end look. And so I painted around all of the edging and you also have to be really careful. I definitely got a splinter from this bad boy. <laughs> so if you have a small enough sandpaper or a sanding block, something, you can kind of fix those edges. You will want to do that. And after that completely dried, I am going to glue it back down to my backing. And I didn't realize I totally put it upside down how I originally had it. So, you know, that's my bad. <laughs> how I originally wanted it was for the gourds to be up at the top, but you know, you live and you learn. And also noticed, um, I'm already moving on to project two. So I'll just have to tell you about how I finished off that project later on. Now, I didn't quite like how bright this color was. So I am taking some of my bronze paint, which I absolutely love. And I just think it is an amazing kind of a neutral tone for an orange. So I just painted around what it was. Now, this one did have the W, which is my last name. But if you can't find them in the ones that are your initials, don't worry about it. You can totally make this stencil yourself. Or if you don't want to have a stencil, you can just have a really cute pumpkin decor piece. So you have lots of options. I just wanted to mute down that bright orange color and I painted all around the edges, the sides, and just made sure it was a pretty thick coat because this little punction, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> words guys um this little pump it pump i still can't say it pump ken wow that was a tough one okay <laughs> the pumpkin is really textured and so the paint just kind of like sunk in and i don't know why it just wasn't sticking that great so i actually think if you wanted to repaint these you should add a layer of mod podge for mod well i'm stumbling today you know words are hard Dumpling's okay and just have a little fun and make these colors and color combinations unique to your own home style. And where would I be without my favorite of all favorites of the raffia? I am totally obsessed. I actually have an entire little plastic tub full of raffia ribbon. Yes, I love it that much. I use it year round, but you know, <laughs> I thought it would be perfect. I didn't quite like the burlap bows that were on the pumpkin. So I am making a different kind of 
theme, color scheme. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just rambling y'all. Anyways, just made a cute little bow. Um, little raffia tip. If you didn't know, you can actually squirt these down with a little bit of water and it makes it so much easier to bend and shape into the desired bow in effect that you want. So that's a little fun little tip for your raffia bow making. And then I just replaced the little spot where the burlap bows were. And I just think they just had a nice little accent to it. It's so cute. And I did end up going with a darker color for my little orange one right here. That is in the Dollar Tree pack where it's three different colors. And it's almost like that light tan color and then this medium tone one and I really liked how it just complemented the bronze color so I ended up going making another bow um, for the orange and then another white one for the white oh my gosh okay I'm just stopped talking right now okay guys <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying right now. Like, it's a bad, I don't know. And if you can't tell, I am definitely have a little bit of a cold. So I feel like I sound way different. Maybe it's just me, but, you know, living and trying my best. <laughs> and, of course, as always, I love finding out which one is your favorite project. So don't forget to tell me down at the bottom or if you would like to see a certain kind of project, I have so many ideas. I have it just floating around in my head, but if you want to see something specific or a certain kind of decor style, let me know down below because you know, that's all. All right, I'm done. I'm so done guys. <laughs> Glue those down. Okay, wow, we're getting back to it. Okay. <laughs> So I took one of the little Dollar Tree longer plaques. Now this one was already in this like dark navy blue, which I absolutely love and adore. I took some of my tumbling tower blocks and kind of attached them to each of the pumpkins to give it a little bit more of a support while they're standing up. And I didn't quite think of gluing it to it until after I did this first piece. So I did glue that first to the back and kind of shoved it on there. And after that, I'm like, hey, maybe I should glue this to the pumpkin first. Yeah, you know, I craft and figure out life as I'm going. So this was much easier to do. So it just kind of helped each of the pumpkins have a little bit of an extra base. And I kind of staggered them. And I thought this was such a cute little project. I'm totally obsessed. I love the monograms. I love the color scheme. And I'm just digging it all. Let me know. And also never quite know when to stop. So I added a little bit of greenery. I thought that spruced it up a little bit. Now these were just random ones off of a wreath that I made recently. So I'll link that video for you as well. And I just kind of added a few little things and I thought it finished it off really nicely. You could add any kind of decals to the front that said, you know, our pumpkin patch or our patch or, you know, you could add some really cute phrasing because these little Dollar Tree wooden plaques, um, they do have like two different widths to them. So you could add a, you know, a decent sized decal to it if you would want to do that. But I just wanted mine really streamlined and I really love the monogram. So that's kind of just the vibe I was going with. we're cruising right along right on to project number three now this is a little sign that i picked up at the thrift store for literally like 58 cents and it's really sturdy and i thought it would make a perfect little squatty pumpkin i know you guys know i love the little short pumpkin pieces and I don't know. I feel like you can never have enough of them. I don't know. I made something similar um, either last year or the year before. So I wanted something a little bit more neutral. So I used the same scrapbook paper. Um, it's that little pack from Michaels. And I picked one with kind of neutral gourds on them. And I left the black. I really, like I said, I kind of love that black with those neutral colors. And I just love that boho vibe. So added some of my pale blush pink raffia wrapped it all the way around and that's just going to kind of center the little pumpkin and then just added a few other little greenery picks and pieces and i'm in love with this one too it's so cute and it's so easy to make and it would make a perfect little 
gift for someone or if you just love pumpkin decor this would be amazing little addition that you can do and it's upcycling something which i love and no nonsense which is also a bonus and also didn't really measure or think about this when I originally glued it down kind of off center. I was like, yeah, that totally makes sense for a pumpkin. And yeah, so I did have to fix that um, by squishing over the leaves and kind of centering it because I thought it just looked way too wonky off centered, but I just easily took the hot glue and centered it on the top section added the different greenery items that I love and I just had it laying around all on my extremely messy dining room table and added all of those fun decor pieces. Now the little stick or twig or whatever we're going to call that is from Dollar Tree. It's when they used as well. I picked them up last year when they were selling the little twig packs in the store and I have not seen them since. So you could just grab a twig or branch or a cork whatever you have outside or laying around in your stash and use that as the stem and then I just added that cute little flower yellow piece no idea with a little bit of raffia for extra extra texture y'all wow the struggle bus is like a hot mess tonight but anyways added that and there you go you're completely done with this really cute squatty pumpkin and as I said earlier, I don't know what happened to the film, but I added some of the golden, those little push thumbtacks, thumb, uh, anyways, added those cute little bracket pieces, and I thought it really elevated the piece, and of course, added some of my favorite faux leather ribbon around the entire piece, and my center, I just absolutely adore this little pumpkin patch, he is so cute. And he could work anywhere because he does stand alone. And how fun does this piece go with all of my pink glassware? I'm just obsessed. This is probably one of my new favorite pieces to decorate my little hutch that I got from my best friend when she moved. And it's just so fun. And I am so looking forward to fall, even if it's 100 degrees outside right now here in Virginia. Hope you guys enjoyed these quick and easy fall autumn DIYs because I'm totally obsessed with them and I hope you guys are as ready for fall as I am. Until next time guys, thanks for watching.